Vijay Par Vijay for Victory is now a Bollywood feature film instead of an Australian film mainly due to Ranbir Saini India's Gurgaon based differently able teenage golden boy According to the story and screenplay writer Dr Satish Rai Vijay Path was originally inspired by Fiji's Vijay Singh Vijay Singh who was born not far from Dr Rai's birthplace in Lautoka Fiji goes from his humble background towards number 1 player beating the then unbeatable Tiger Wood Congratulations Ranbir for winning a gold medal for India in 2015 as well as in 2017 in Macau Special Olympics how do you feel about it now 2 years on i feel great very happy okay great i'm working for 2019 world games what message do you want to give out to all the differently able teenagers and adults as they progress in life keep working hard don't give up what are your plans for golf and your life generally my life is golf okay i will keep working till i hard till i become a old man okay So you like golf very much yes. I can see. How do you feel that your achievements has inspired and motivated a film production team to make a film on differently able teenagers and golf in India? I feel honored. Okay. I feel in top of the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much Ranbir. Thank you. And good luck. Uh I just want to ask you since when did Ranbir take up golf? Uh you know Ranbir uh, was 9 years of age so 2009 he took up golf. and uh, it took him three long years uh, before he got his first gold medal in 2012 at 12 years of age okay great when did you realize that ranbir has exceptional talent in golf as a family we used to play golf and he used to be just uh, standing across the clubhouse and watching us help- helplessly because of his disability so we introduced golf to him just to be a part of our family game okay. trust me okay but uh, his coach identified that he had a great swing and a good speed and uh, he was making very very beautiful shots and that's when we realized his hidden talent there and lo a uh, couple of years down the line he got the first gold medal uh, for india in the asia pacific games and another two years he got the first gold in the in the, Olymp- in the world olympics how did you feel when your son won the gold medal uh, in 2015 in america and 2017 in macau oh uh, what any father or mother would feel or what any indian would feel when an indian wins at a world platform competing with almost uh, 70 countries 200 golfers but uh, i can just sum up by saying that we were so proud and uh, we teared up we teared up in joy more because because it was an intellectually disabled child who got the gold for india so now i'm going to ask you what's your message for the special in in family I can only tell don't ever give up. However uh, large or small the disability may be, mm-hmm. just don't give up. Keep working, keep working because these children will never let you down. Great. They will put you put uh, more efforts than you uh, if you are with them. I just want to ask you that how do you feel as a mother that Ranbir has won so many medals for India in America as well as in Macau so how do you feel we all feel very proud about Ranbir 
I think it is a great sense of fulfillment because yeah. one one can actually see that hard work pays. So I have seen my child struggle through those, you know, years of hard work and toil, and I think it's finally paid off. And uh, that's why I feel on top of the world that my son has made the country proud. Now I want to ask you, what expectations do you have from Ranveer? Now at this stage. expectations from ranveer is that uh, he learns to be more independent in life which he is really working towards okay. and uh, in fact i really never pushed him to give us anything you know and uh, so there are no expectations from him but he's been delivering so beautifully that uh, i can only learn in- instead of me teaching him i'm learning from ranveer do you think that ranveer could participate in regular tournament Yes, I am hoping that the day would come that he would start playing with the uh, regular tournaments. But uh, as of now, it's a it's a beginning stage, and he has started playing with local tournaments. And uh, the golfers within the DLF golf course in Gurgaon have started accepting him, and they in fact uh, encourage him by playing with him. So it's already an involvement which has started a movement which has started of involving these kids in regular movements and regular tournaments. Okay. So yes, I am seeing when we moving towards that, but it's a long, long. What do you feel that Ranbir has inspired a feature film? Well, we have uh, already a uh, uh, legend in our family. I would say the Bab Milka Bab happens okay. to be a part of our family. Mr. Milka Singh happens to be my husband's uncle. Okay. So I would say nothing compared to his achievements in life. He, Ranbir has just begun the ladder of success. This is a small legend in a small little world. How long are you coaching Ranbir? Um I've been coaching Ranbir now for about 7 and a half years. Okay. Uh, he came to me uh, I think he was about 9 at that time. Mm-hmm. And uh, that was the first time that I met with his uh, parents. Okay. And we all thought about to say that uh, can Ranbir be initiated into the sport? Do you think he can play? Mm-hmm. And I had no experience with uh, uh, someone like Ranbir especially his style and okay. I said well we can try mm-hmm. we can give it a try and mm-hmm. that's when it first started What makes him an exceptional golfer I think uh, one of the first things that I realized about him is like unlike a lot of the other juniors and kids that uh, that train with us if we said something to Ranbir or if we asked him to do a particular thing um, that would all that would be the only thing that he would do he would not think of anything else he would not do anything else nothing else would would bother him he would only keep repeating that and um though i would say that you know it 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 takes a few lessons or a few sessions for us to do uh, a change with him or to make him do something mm-hmm. but the fact is that when we ask him to do a particular move that's all he says that's all he thinks about that's all he does nothing else comes into his mind and i think that kind of focus to see uh in any child or any other golfer for that matter is definitely going to guarantee you that you're going to make uh, lots of progress what message does ranbir bin at the special olympics said to differently able teenagers as well as adult in india and elsewhere there are two messages i would say the first is when we started with ranbir we we never thought uh, you know that we would train him to actually uh, go for special olympics and eventually when we we were just we all thought we'd be very happy if ranbir picks up the game he plays a sport um and if he can be good enough to even just set foot on a golf course and play uh, it would be a great thing for ranbir and i think that's the first message is that uh, uh when somebody uh, when a human being decides to do something as long as you stay focused and stay committed to what you're doing a, a lot can be achieved uh, and i don't think we should limit that to say that oh and this person can only reach this level i think uh, you can go very very well past the levels that uh, maybe other people set for you there are no really limits as such very true very true and the other uh, i feel is that uh, for someone like ranveer and maybe for so many other uh, differently abled uh, people as well i think ranveer has found um, you know so to say a mission in life so to say a passion in life where you know he can play golf till the last day uh, on this planet Yes. um you know he he is now independent to um to to 
call for his car to take his golf set to come to the golf club to take his caddy to take his mm. golf balls to play on his own he doesn't need he doesn't need any help he doesn't need any any guidance he doesn't need any assistance he does everything on his own and i think this is a sport where uh, ranveer as well as many other people uh, you, you can find so as to say you can find your calling and you can find something to do for the rest of your life what message has his success at such early stage in life sent to golfers and potential golfers in india i think uh, what has happened is with uh, with ranveer success a uh, couple of things have happened one is that awareness about uh, autism awareness about special needs um, and special children in the in india has increased you know through ranveer success through his winning gold medals at the asia pacific level and at the world level uh lots of people have read about uh, ranveer as 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 a boy with special needs and they've read that he is uh, even though he's special needs he's successful mm-hmm. you know and and they've started looking at uh, the the children around them who similar children around them in a different way um and the other thing i think is that a lot of other parents and a lot of other children feel that look if they they stay committed to Uh, and be serious about their practice and their improvement they can also achieve uh, you know success uh, in the sport or you know, for that matter any field that they may be in yeah. Yeah. True, true what expectations do you now have for envir in golf and in life generally well i think um, the first thing i always look at envir and say that we you know it's it's wonderful that he has found something that he will do for the rest of his life yeah and he doesn't need to depend on anybody to do it so that's the biggest success and uh, is a big thing for ranveer to happen to him mm-hmm. uh, the other thing uh, i would say that ranveer is, is currently at about 8 or 9 handicap mm-hmm. and uh, we are given to believe that the best special needs player in the world uh, is about a 3 handicap and he's from south africa okay. so if we the expectation i won't say expectation but i think it's our it's our goal that over the next Three years, five years, seven years, eight years. If we train Ranveer well, and if he can get his handicap down from the eight or nine today to maybe a one, two, or even a scratch in five years' time, in eight years' time, mm-hmm. I think Ranveer will be one of the world's best special needs golfers, if not the best. And I think that would be a wonderful uh, thing. Whether or not we reach there, we don't know. We don't want to put any sure, sort of. Sure, you can. Sure, <laughs> you are doing hard work, and he is also doing very hard, well, much hard work with the parents. Yeah, as parents. I said, we we are very happy so that he's support. playing. We we are very happy that he's playing. We don't want to put any sort of pressure on him to say no, no. We we need to reach there. Mm-hmm. If he gets there, well and good. If he doesn't get there, he's already found what he needed to find in life. Into a time. No reduction. For one of the most successful and prominent golfer in the world, what are your thoughts about the young golfer Ranveer Saini? Um, Ranveer Saini is related to me. Uh, he's part of the family. Um, his uh, father is my first cousin. Um, we are very close. We grew up together. Um, his mother is very well known to us. She is also related. Um, But Ranveer Saini, um, as a kid, not only as part of the family, but talking as an Indian, I would say I think every Indian should be proud of uh, Ranveer for what he's achieved. Uh, he has um, made the Indian flag fly. Uh, being uh, a boy with uh, a challenge, but he's taken it on in a in a very positive manner, and he's shown the world that. Uh, you if something like this happens you take it as a challenge and make the most out of it you do not uh, uh come down on yourself and say that my life is over or my life uh, i can't do much with it but what he's done i think um, it's uh, incredible and also encouraging for our society and i think i give full marks to the parents for the way they have contributed their time Uh, and also the way they have uh, brought this child up he um has uh, proven that um it's all in the mind and till the time you have the desire to achieve something you can do that and uh, so he's proven it not once he's proven it many times yes. in the last few years and he's won all the awards 
I can keep naming them, but uh, they're not enough, and I think in the future he's going to do even better uh, because uh, the boy has the desire to achieve something, and uh, he's, he's, his mind is set that he loves this game and he wants to uh, prove to the world that uh, he wants to be good at it. And he has done that, and um, honestly, I think um, it's a very proud moment for me too because. Kids like this give us hope and give us the desire and the determination that, uh, you know, it's not over till the time you say it's over and it's all in the mind. And I think I'd like to congratulate him and I'd like to wish him all the best for the future. Yes. And uh, you're going to do really well and thank you for making the country proud and giving the Indian society a hope that, you know, you've got to keep fighting and you'll achieve what you want. Thank you. When in 2015, Dr. Rai read about young Ranveer's exceptional achievement in the Special Olympics, he persuaded film producer Ron Chandra to produce a film in India. The initial idea was to make a docudrama, but the final result is a documentary film and a dramatic feature film, whose main inspiration is now Ranveer Saini. Like Ranveer in real life and Vijay in real life were able to achieve success not only due to his own determination, grade and hard work but also because of support from loved ones and some members of the community. The moral of Ranveer and Vijay Path is that with a little helping hand we can reach individuals to their true potential in life. दिल सच्ची परिंदा है आकाश में उड़ने से कोई रोक नहीं सकता हो हम हालात बदल देंगे हालात हो कैसे भी हम चुप तो नहीं सकते मारा